Hello, in this video we're going to use integral calculus to calculate the change in consumer surplus from a price change. Okay, so here we have our market demand, Q equals 500 divided by P. This is a nonlinear demand curve. Q is the quantity demanded, P is the price. And if the price falls from 10 to $5, we're going to calculate the change in consumer surplus. So this is the setup. The change in consumer surplus will be calculated by finding the definite integral of our function, the demand function, over the interval from a price of $5 to $10. So the integral of 500 divided by P, the price, will equal 500 times the natural log of the price. So now evaluating over this range from $5 to $10, it's going to equal 500 times the natural log of 10 minus the natural log of 5. And the natural log of 10 is approximately 2.3. The natural log of 5 is approximately 1.61. So doing the math here, our change in consumer surplus will be roughly $345. So the basic rule I used here in finding the integral of 500 divided by P is the following. The integral of 1 divided by x, where x is greater than 0, is given as follows. It's going to be the natural log of x plus the constant. So in our case, we have some constant up here other than 1. We got 500, so it's just 500 times the natural log of x. Here's a graphical look of what we did. The blue line here is our demand curve, again, a nonlinear demand curve. And what we did, we calculated the area between A and B. If the price fell, this area A and B will represent the increase or change in consumer surplus. We're going to get an increase in consumer surplus on these first 50 units of uh, $5 times 50. Okay, so that'll be this area. And then the increase in consumer surplus over this area here it's going to just be area B. So what we did was we calculated the area A plus B by integrating to the left of the demand curve. So we integrated using the prices here for our demand, uh, for our demand function. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.